As technology shapes warfare and global security, Singapore must stay ahead of the game and not be left behind. Senior Minister and Coordinating Minister for National Security, Chiu Chi Hien, said this on the second day of the Singapore Defence Technology Summit. Now, he also discussed topics such as the advancement of technology and use of artificial intelligence. Ahmad Khan has more. This recently unveiled armoured fighting vehicle is the Singapore Armed Forces' first fully digitalised vehicle. A prime example of how the SAF is using artificial intelligence to boost its firepower. But technology is a double-edged sword. The advancements mean militaries around the world also face enemies such as unconventional warfare. And that vulnerability also extends to the outside world. Cyber attacks targeting government institutes and the spreading of fake news can catalyze information warfare. The increased interconnectivity of smart devices also give a larger surface area for attacks. Mr. Tu raised some of these issues and asked how best to deal with them during his keynote address at the Singapore Defence Technology Summit. Today, our societies are all grappling with the rapid advance of technology. We all want to be ahead of the game. But in this headlong rush, we do also need to reflect on how well and how wisely we are making use of technology and whether we are prepared to deal with the collateral consequences of the proliferation of these new technologies. Extending the discussion on the subject, there was also a panel on whether AI can make soldiers smarter. Various aspects of AI were discussed during the panel, like scenarios of how AI can be used when critical infrastructure is compromised. There was also a discussion on whether AI will make soldiers obsolete. The consensus is that soldiers are still needed, although they will take on very different roles than before. AI will take on a huge amount of the burden. I think that the armed forces of the future will be smaller, or at least can be smaller, given the current uh, uh, threat environment, un unless something drastic changes. Um, and then what we use these soldiers for will be, will be different. The amount of technology that's going into the armed services already and the effect it can have, uh, it, it speaks to a need to change the nature of our training. Representatives from various defense ministries like Japan and U.S. will be involved in the final day of panel discussions on Friday.